Hey guys, it's Mackenzie, and today I'm going to be showing you a very neutral color that had a very neutral eyeshadow tutorial that has a lot of browns and golds and you know that kind of area of color. I'm going to be using today my Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil in 04 Continuous Almond as my eyeshadow primer. Um, it's a really, really like pigmented color so just kind of like swipe it across and then rub it in with your finger um as you'll see me do because this color is so good whenever I wear eyeshadow which isn't all the time but um sometimes I do um I'm, I find that I'm more of like an eyeliner person eyeliner mascara very rarely I will wear like a lip balm or something but that's it um yeah, so I'm going to get started. Ugh. Get my mirror. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, I'm going to be... <laughs> taking my continuous almond color. And just, like, literally... See how bright it is, and then you just kind of rub it in like that. Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be using. Oh no, the palette's. This is back. Okay, so I'm going to be just simply using these three colors, this bronze, this gold, and this kind of taupe color. Um, I'm going to be using those three on my eye. And I have my double under brush, and since I have three colors, of course I have just my single eyeshadow brush. It just says eyeshadow on it, nothing else. Um, I think I got it for Christmas. It was from just a quick little stocking stuffer present you know brush set so i'm going to be taking the bottom taupe color and i'm just going to be putting that on my inner eye in here and then i'm going to fade that into the gold and then last that bronzy brown color is going to be going not all the way in whoa on the crease but pretty closely like i would say about halfway three quarters of the way and then out and filling up the rest of that lid and then after I'm done that I'm going to be taking the Sephora eyeliner it's a pencil that came with the palette palette whatever you call it and oh okay but um it is called oh it's literally called taupe shimmer that's cool so it's this taupe color, and I'm going to be doing that on my lower lid, on the lash line. <clears throat> so first is this taupe color, and I'm going to put that on. Next, I'm going to be doing the gold color. As you can see, I did the taupe, and it's a very light color. It looks almost like white or ivory. Is this pink? Oh, yeah. Okay, so now I'm taking the gold, and I'll put that just as that in-between color to go right between the taupe and the bronze. Next, I'm going to be doing the bronze color with this brush, and as I said, definitely take it slow with the bronze. Um, I'm just going to like put it on my finger, like tap it in, and show you guys how. So I just tapped it in. Um, it is very bold. So I would recommend just taking it slow and doing that first layer. And if you want more, add more and add more and add more. And if you feel like you should stop and you don't think you should keep going, then I would recommend stopping. If you're a risk taker, that's cool. And you can always wipe it off, like excess that you don't like. It's completely your decision. Um, since I put eyeshadow on my finger, I'm just going to be taking that as well. So let me just hop the horn. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to go do that. So I'm just going to go and finish that up. I'm going to do my other eye as well. And I will come back and we can finish up the tutorial. Okay. 
Now last, oh, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking that Sephora eyeliner I was telling you guys about earlier. Um, I'm going to be taking that and, as I said, just putting that on my lower lash line. Um, I don't recommend waterline. I'm not a huge fan of it unless you're putting like the white or the black on there. Um, lash line is a little bit better for staying and for the colors, like the bright, vibrant colors. You get the point. But, um... Just like, I'll show you guys real quick. Just like right on here. I'm going to go do that instead of like looking really creepy in the camera. So like the idiot I am, I tried another lip color that I thought maybe this will look good with the eye color. And it didn't. So I had to put some concealer on to try and cover it up. And of course it's still not completely off. So just ignore my lips. Okay. We have mascara left to do, so I'm going to be taking one of my favorites that's very light and subtle, but at the same time, it's very pretty. Um, it's my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extension Slash Blast, and it's one of my favorites because it's very light, but at the same time, it's, it's a really good mascara. So I'm going to put this on, and I'm going to be doing a layer of my Avon Super Extend Mascara as well over top of that because that lengthens your lashes and it makes them look really long and really pretty and I really like that. So that's the entire look. I really hope you guys like this tutorial as much as I do because I just love, I love, 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 I don't know why, I love neutral, simple makeup tutorials that are at the same time still make you look so beautiful and so radiant. And I really love the way my eyes look in this makeup. Um, if you guys decide to recreate this look, you should tag us on Instagram or soon Twitter, hopefully. And um, yeah, um, we have created some boards on Pinterest. If you follow us, you'll see that nobody follows us yet. So we need some follows. We need some subscribes. Um, we know you guys are there, so just please, 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 we love you guys so much, and we love all the views that we get and stuff like that. We just, we really need you guys to subscribe and comment and like, and we really need your feedback and your opinions and stuff like that. It's really important. So, I think that's it. I'll see you guys this weekend and next week you'll you'll see Gabby on Friday speaking of Gabby um as you can see from last week's football themed videos you can see that Gabby is missing a video she did film one we promise but iMovie deleted it and it wouldn't upload and it wouldn't edit the right way and it deleted like a bunch of it deleted some things it wouldn't upload some things so she just kind of yeah but she's really, really sorry, and um, she promises that this week and hopefully most of the weeks on that we will have full weeks. That's what we're hoping for. We're building up to it, you know? We really, we're just, we're off on a shaky start, and YouTube is really difficult. You think it's so easy and stuff like that until you try. And filming is hard, you know, you always have interruptions, you always end up going off track, you have to edit a lot, and uploading itself is just such a long and, it, and just terrible process. I, we love YouTube, we hate that process though. Um, yeah, I need to close this up. See you guys next week. Love you. Bye.